Wow, what a beautiful day. Wow. Just gorgeous. It's very windy today and I'm stuck being at the grocery store to uh, replenish my healthy snacks. in Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, I think that's how you pronounce it. But those over there, I think, are Coconos. Coconos. It's just very pretty. It's a lot prettier than um, it looks on the video. Right there is my road. I'll be on there. Just in there. So today, my big email goes out on Saturday morning. So I uh, said, you know, if you want to um, get the daily reflections sign now and so people are signing up and I I'm gonna have to stop periodically during the day and just let them in there's always stuff to do it's about five o'clock uh, in the afternoon and I just stopped for lunch dinner whichever this is gonna be uh, this really beautiful rest area here in the mountains, some mountains, and, and still in Pennsylvania. And um, just, you know, just thinking about when we were traveling. In the beginning, Matthew and the kids and I would do this a lot. We would stop and have a picnic. And I remember this one time we were in Oklahoma and my mom was, or maybe my mom wasn't with us, but we had it all planned to have this really beautiful picnic in the grass and we, got a little blanket and, and I actually brought the blanket too but it's but it's too wet the grass is still too wet so we got the blanket out and we set everything out because I, I, I had um, you know napkins and old dishes and it was so pretty and, and then we just got attacked by flies or bees or whatever they were and I was so mad I I ran into the car and to a little van and then the van was full of flies it was just so funny. So there's no bugs because it's cold and I'm gonna have my lunch. I have the best uh, table with a view um, of the, the woods. This kind of stuff is priceless. Yeah, I'm alone here, but I'm really not alone. These rest stops are really nice. They're very clean and uh, the bathrooms are great. But you know what's missing? A nice espresso. I have five more hours to go. I really needed this day. I needed this long drive. Um, it just feels so good to have the silence and I'm not really, I'm just letting go, you know, I'm just like moving. <laughs> moving all the thoughts and reflecting on them and um, because that's that's important I've, I've heard so many stories from people that shared with me and everything that's going on um, and, I, and I think that's part of the uh, part of the part of the reason why we get so anxious and, and you know life gets so fast life is fast and then um, there's all these distractions and we never we rarely I mean I, I, I rarely have a chance to take a whole day to just you know not think and not distract one of the good things about driving is I can't do anything you know I can't watch a show I have a book on tape that I listen but I kind of just you know I listen for I listen for an hour and then I turn it off and don't listen to anything for a long time I like to listen to um, instrumental music and I did today just because it also, it just helps me to not think, you know, like not even pray, not, not even meditate, just like, just be. That is so healing. I'm really grateful for this long, long drive today. I had a good conversation with Matthew, very good. <sighs> Some hard stuff. But I am excited that 
he's he's um, he's processing all these things that are coming at him new things new feelings new new existence and that comes with any change but in his case it's really really huge huge and I just really admire his strength and also his vulnerability and then he uh, he organized my mom and our kids to um, start cleaning up the garden beds for the vegetables because we gotta plant them soon because it's this nice warm weather it's perfect I got my little espresso.